venue and none of the sellout crowd that came for the opening night would have left disappointed. Even a failed Commonwealth Games bid couldn't halt construction and now some of the biggest names in world cycling were getting their first taste of the new track. For Superdrome manager and Olympic gold medalist Mike Turner, the pressure of opening night was a lot harder than racing. I'd rather be racing, to tell you the truth, but um, this promoting game has got little hiccups. We've had a few. We've ironed them out, so the racing's good. And that's mostly what is uh, you know, the final say. That all, if the racing's good, then everyone's happy, and it has been terrific. Following the short opening ceremony, it was down to business with a full program of events. Amongst the names riding were German world sprint champion Michael Hubner, Australian Olympic medalists Gary Newon, Brett Aitken and Steve McGleed, and an old hand in Danny Clark just to keep the youngsters honest. I wish I had this, something like this when I was uh, 14, 15, 16 years of age in Tasmania, but I had to wait a fair while and, you know, it's really nice that they've got it. Cathy Watt was also on hand and she had the world 3,000 metre record firmly in her sights. With the racing underway, the big crowd was treated to some excellent close racing, with the track proving a winner with all concern. Very nice. Uh, new tracks, smooth and very fast. Uh, probably one of the better ones in the world that I've ridden on. Well, I rode earl earlier on in the week and uh, the first impression was this is, this is the, the right place, the right velodrome for a city like Adelaide. As you can see tonight, the, the people that come out and they're enjoying every race. So it's going to be, I think every, every night's going to be a great success. The cool night and brand new surface led to some slightly slower times being recorded as Cathy Watt found out during her record attempt. The track's fairly good. I was hoping to go a bit quicker, but I'm very happy with the time anyway. It's world-class time. I think it's a bit cooler tonight, so a lot of the times haven't been quite as quick as you might expect. German sprint champion Michael Hubner had travelled out for a match race with Gary Newand and rated the venue as one of the best. I think this is a really, really nice track. But the man behind all this praise is track designer Ron Webb. With over 45 tracks carrying his signature worldwide, the Australian designer would have been extremely proud to have seen the result of his work being so well received. This track, I think, is probably the, well, I'd have to say, is the best track I've built so far.